Thank you so much for working inside, so I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. The other day when Kai Sinet arrived in Nigeria, he was greeted by a fan and Kai trying to oh, help Lord. and give back, he gave the fan $8 million, not even realizing that he gave him $8 million until his new Nigerian friend told him that he gave him too much money. After the new Nigerian friend realized that Kai was giving out a lot of money, he started taking the money <laughs> and giving it to the people because he realized that Kai was Hey, 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 look, I, I just seen a clip on, um, um, I guess on, on Twitter. So how this thing happened was with with the eight million dollars was that Kai gave him five k U S dollars and I guess five k U S dollars transferred to eight million dollar eight plus something million dollars in Nigeria. To me, even though even though it was accident, I would have felt like the man, bro. Like like mind you, mind you, like like look when it comes to to millionaires, being hey, um, what's his name? Eli Musk himself, right? Bro is worse in the billions. He has literally enough money to give every single person on earth, right? Because they say eight, they say eight billion people um on earth or eight plus billion, eight plus billion, right? But he has enough money to give away each single person a million dollars, and he still will be a billionaire, bro. Right? Like, that's really mind-blowing. And the fact that, <laughs> not saying that he should go do it, he has to go do it, but, bro, that would be, mind you, look, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, money, everybody don't deserve it. We got to be realistic when it comes to money. Everybody does not deserve money. There are some people who are, they mental is not there, bro. They mental is not there. They're thinking about all types of destructive stuff. So, therefore, if they got the money, enough money to get what they needed, it will be over for a lot of things. That's why everybody don't deserve money. But for the ones that who have a good, a good mind and peer attention, trying to take care of their family, trying to take care of themselves, trying to start a business, trying to, trying to you know, build some, some generational wealth or whatever. Like, bro, like that, I would, like, if I was Kai and that moment right there, I would feel like, <laughs> I just, man, like, who next? <laughs> who next? What the next person at? That's how I would have felt, bro. But you do got to be careful with that. Hey, even for the man that got the money, you better get up out of there, bro. You better get up out of there before somebody either come find you and either make you give some of the money back. <laughs> man. Pay him a lot of money, which I'm not mad about. We in America, we be spending money like crazy. So the least we could do is go to these countries and give back and stuff like that. Oh I get God. that he's trying to protect him, make sure he's all right. But here's Kai's reaction to finding out that he gave the dude $8 million. I gave, well, I gave him everything. 5K. Like he gives only 5K. Yeah, what you do? Huh? You don't come down. I, I, I he gives only 5K. You down and you I don't know. See, see, go to give me. Well, I'm going to push out of this guy. <laughs> I'm going to give you a book. No, he's only five k dollars. No, I gave the the guy from yesterday. No, when we, when we get I gave him like. I don't. What? I fuck up. I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what happened? Bro, do you know what five k dollars is? Do you know what five k dollars is in Nigeria? Uh, in Nigeria, eight million fucking naira. So he's a millionaire now? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I love my people, man. I swear, hey, my my main uh, my my main reaction channel is you know it's based on music. My uh, the reason why I got to I mean the that I got is because the people from Ghana. So shout out to y'all, man. Hey, I love it, bro. But <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, again for Kai, bro. One, this is major for you to go back. But two, for you to uh, to for you to go back and give back, bro. Like again, it, there. Are, it's a lot of millionaires and billionaires like they waste money on a lot of stuff that sadly that they don't even use like every every millionaires who will go buy a house in 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 just say like four or five different states or whatever and never visit them you got a house just sitting there it's, it's somebody homeless that that can use your house to, to live in while they save up their money to then move like I, I will do that I will do that even though Sadly, some people probably wouldn't even, you know, move out there despite the say to stay in your house. But if you can find, if you if you were in there, right, you can find some people to, that's willing to really take it seriously. Like, I'm going to let you move in this house. Everything is on. Rent paid, mortgage paid, whatever. 
bills paid. You can live in this house for, say, three years. Save up all your work checks. Say, you ain't got to pay no bills. Save up. Do what you got to do. And then bounce. And then move. Then let the next person come in and do the same. Like, bro, like, if I was a millionaire, see that. I think that's probably why God holding me back. I think that's probably why God holding me back. Because, I, boy, I'll be trying to look out, bro. But, Kai, this is amazing. I guarantee somebody, somebody still is going to find some some way, some some way possible to make this seem like a, something negative. Watch. Wait, ma. Oh shit. Hold on, mom. Come back. Yo, this Yo, oh god, that. <laughs> DDG and Pretty Boy Fredo boxing match might have to be put on pause. At the Aiden was served court papers. Uh, I was supposed to do a uh, a boxing event March sixteenth, twenty twenty four. And uh, last night I was at UFC and I got approached by somebody um, and basically said, you do not run a sanctioned uh, event. So you basically, if you do the March 16th event, it's criminal. So we have to push back the March 16th event, the March 16th event until I'm sanctioned. We're working on it right now, guys. Somebody basically snitched. And I mean, you guys can really put two and two together and really th think. You're on, you're streaming it, bro. You're streaming. So, and why do you snitch, bro? Well, somebody probably did, but you're streaming. So, therefore, it's not too much snitch that somebody can't do. But that's that's crazy. Like, this is what I'll be saying. Like, when it comes to society itself, it's like people be trying to control every single little thing. You are, you're not forcing nobody. You're not demanding nobody. You're not, like, I mean, you're paying them, but it's not. I don't like <laughs> it's like bro, you are getting people who are willingly wanting to come in, you gonna give me a bag, just like a boxer is gonna do. You gonna like I understand like when it kinda of boxing, I think you know they got insurance rules. I mean like insurance is thing, therefore if something goes wrong, you no, know, the boxing agency can probably cover the most part of it. I I understand on that aspect. But on, on the aspect of this man has doing an event Asking people, not demanding, not forcing, not telling, like, asking, do you want a box? Do you want a box? And if you do, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars, and woo -woo -woo. this is your choice. You're not forced to do nothing. And people still find some way, some way possible to make it seem like something is wrong. I understand the, the part of, you know, the, you know, the assurance part, but the, it's, these are people who are willing to do it. They're not being forced to do nothing. You feel me? Like, it's like... People that, you know, that hit the blade. If you're doing it on your own, because this is what you want to do. Mind you, you got to be of age, at least, hopefully. But if this is what you want to do, because this is the choice that you made. And you're not being forced or, or manipulated to do, to do it. Bruh, the police need to move on, bruh. Go on, watch your day. This is not, like, you know, in that aspect, on, on that situation, it's not. It's It, it would be kind of hard to tell if somebody is really... Uh, doing it on their own or being manipulated because they'll still tell you, oh, I'm doing it because myself, but the whole time, they, it's, it's hard to tell. But on this aspect with this boxing thing, bro, like, people will just be finding some way possible just to hate this, this so another agency or or, gut or some somebody is just trying to get a bag out, off of this. Guarantee somebody's trying to get a bag off of this. You're making too much money. You're giving away this amount of money. You're not giving us no money. That's what it is. Who snitched, okay? And basically That's said, sad. hey, this is not a legit thing. That's I shut sad. them down. They listened. They gave me a warning. They said, if you basically uh, have a fight on March 16th, it's criminal. You know, and we'll, I'll be shut down completely. And I'll have to actually, that's like real time, you know. Uh, you know, it's 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 not sanctioned, and, and that's just how it is. Dub cameraman dropped it's the video money, yesterday bro. speaking it's on why he no longer worked for Dub. Well, Dub responded back. Here's what he had to say. The reason why I let Skyler go is because in October, we went to Dubai. It was a boys trip. It was me, Deshae. Baby Rich, my brother, and Wizard Kelly, which is all my homies that we do social media about. When I was in Dubai, it was more of the most stressful trip I've ever been on. Not with my brother, not with anybody that was around, it was just with Scott. Uh, basically, when we was in Dubai, it's just like, he didn't want, he wanted to be in Dubai, he just didn't want to film in Dubai. Like, he, we were hella cool in Dubai, but then it was just like, after the second day, it was kind of like a complaining thing. And it wasn't only me, it wasn't even me who was saying it, it was everybody there. It was like, dang bro, you letting this nigga blah, blah, blah. And the one thing I hated in Dubai is, he was just acting like hella bougie. I remember we got this car, it, it was like, we 
it was always like 10 of us. So we would get these big trucks in Dubai to take us places. And I ended up getting a car because it was just me, him, and Johnny and Deshae. And I remember he was like, don't get this car anymore. I don't like the way these smell. I was like, what? This is not a... Remember when I was like trying to shoot videos, it just seemed like he had like an attitude. It was like a little attitude where probably be like, hey, let's do this. He'd be like, all right. Then what happened is, is that we went to Dubai and we went to a private zoo. Now, I don't know why, but he was kind of like uncomfortable at the private zoo. The, the fucking uh, monkey things. And he was like, I don't want to go into the monkey thing. So I'm going to just re record you from far away. And I was like, bro, you got to record it. They can't hear me. So it's just like, with that, in Dubai, it was just a bunch of like stuff that he wasn't comfortable with. And I wasn't going to lower my video because somebody wasn't comfortable with something. So when we got back, I was thinking like, bro, I can't deal with all the stuff that I was dealing with. So I just let him go. The ghosting thing, it wasn't a ghosting thing. I told him like, yo. I mean, look, look. I was gonna say something, but let's hear what you got to say first. So. I'm gonna start working with somebody else, and I'm gonna see if it work out. And if not, you know what I'm saying, I'll holler at you. But for right now, I'm gonna fuck with somebody else. That's not. If you watch DDG vlog, you know. Oh, uh, I, I, I feel like, I, cause the way Scott made the scene was that he was hitting you up, you weren't responding, like, but he didn't say nothing about he he was uncomfortable. It was a certain part that he didn't want to film. He wouldn't see like that's why I always say it's always two sides to every story and we're on the outside looking in. So before you so quick to judge, you gotta hear both sides of the story. And even now, even on on, on that aspect, you still never know because we're not the ones that's right there. So we don't even know if they're telling the truth or Scott telling the truth. But it's you could tell between both the story is something missing. But if it went the way how, how Dub said and he actually told him, I hey bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna work with him and if it was working, then I'm just, I'm gonna just do that. Then okay, but that might come. That, that might have came in once, like on the Scottish video, he said that he was hitting him up for a few days, and then one day he randomly just got that that long paragraph. So that might have been when he told him that. But it's like you should have told him that on your way back. Got since y'all are friends, y'all been cool, y'all been around each other. Hey, bro, you that that paragraph you should have said right then <laughs> on, on the on the plane on the way back on the way back <laughs> on the way back or as soon as y'all landed. Hey, bro, like hey. Such and such, such such such, I don't like this. I don't like that. So I'm, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna see. We're gonna see how it's gonna go. Tyler was embarrassed because of the way Dub was acting. Bro was standing on seats, getting a yelling matches at the restaurant with employees and acting a fool, not bougie. He got closed off because he's actually educated and knows about Dubai. You get locked up very easily there. And Dub is a villager That's who true. doesn't know how to Damn. behave in public. Skylar was playing it safe. Bro, you can't do a lot of recording in Dubai like that. He probably wasn't trying to get locked up for real. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Until next time, peace. What the hell was that? Who is this? Oh my god. Not your ass. He's by the time you with this roof. Ah. Every single movie. That can't even go. You are the camera. Wait, let me turn it again. I'm gonna end my fucking live practice. This was a great place. Was that can't even go? I was so confused. I was just so random. <laughs> <laughs> they try to make sure they get they better. They like, bro, we're gonna add this little clip in. There's some people can watch. Like, bro, I feel it though. Hey, got to cut the grid out. I feel it, bro. That was crazy. But y'all make sure y'all leave your thoughts, y'all opinion in the comment section. Cause it ain't good.